how I can tune into finding my spiritual gifts and activate it, activate it, activate it. Give it your undivided attention. Notice, notice your specialness. And when you start having desires, yearnings, go with it. Proceed. Follow it. Follow your bliss. What, 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 if you follow, if you follow your bliss and it's, uh, um, society's rules of that are destructive, or it's self-destructive, but it's still blissful to the creator. What does that do? Yeah, it's not that simple to follow your bliss, but all that most certainly is, it most certainly is, you'll figure out a way. Well, but the point is, is there's lots of things that if society tells you to leave on, you can still do it. Mm-hmm. Okay? Is, is marijuana no longer consumed in your country? Look at Prohibition. There was more alcohol consumed in Prohibition than there is at all. So you follow your bliss is illegal. So clarify about uh, the, how there's no complications of following your bliss and how that connects to what you just said about uh, or and the individual gifts, the spiritual gifts, of the activating them, here's how you do it. You you focus only on what is the fastest path to your joy. <laughs> now, specifically within, within and without the gifts, start giving your undivided attention to the inside part of you, the hunches. Hmm, I think I want to take a walk. Hmm, I think I want to go buy a lottery ticket. And, and go through with that process. But well, once you start giving your spiritual gifts a little, a quarter of crack at the door, then what happens is they start becoming feeling normal. And for the individual gifts, the spiritual gifts, and the activating them, here's how you do it. You, you focus only on what is the fastest path to your joy. <laughs> now, specifically within, within and without the gifts, start giving your undivided attention to the inside part of you, the hunches. Hmm, I think I want to take a walk. Hmm, I think I want to go buy a lottery ticket. And when they start feeling normal, just like eating 10,000 calories at a meal, if you did that every single day, it wouldn't be a big deal. It would be normal. Please don't do the same thing all the time. Everything when you get out of balance, out of balance, out of balance, you'll, you'll become disproportionate. But we're working within a dialectic of yes, no, I'm less, than, less than, and they're greater than. So we keep showing extreme images that we can feel less than and miss the multiverse of choice, which wouldn't be And once the second you stop giving contrast to those muscles, what do they do? They flap out. Yeah, they flap right out. <laughs> they go right to that. So they're good. They're on a the standard. The contrast, is, the contrast has been removed. It's a constant by you, guessing and knowing, guessing and knowing, guessing and knowing, and this process of what feels good and right to you. Now that gets back to Anna with activating the spiritual gifts. It works the same way. Give those 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 tinges that you feel, because you wouldn't be asking the question if you weren't noticing it. Isn't that interesting? You wouldn't be asking uh. about activating your spiritual gifts if there weren't some that you were considering. Ah, so there is telekinesis. Ah, so there is astral projection. Ah, so we can join the Psychic Friends Network. Ah, so we can be culpable responsible for our world and our reality. Ah, so we do have help from our own non-physical. Ah, so you mean our life can be happy. Ah, you mean we can have abundance. Well, you do. You have abundance now. It just may not be abundantly what you were looking for as far as abundance. You can be abundantly miserable. So there's always abundance. There is, one way or the other. This is the part of your show that you call woo woo. Yeah. It brings the force of woo woo hard. Um, it brings folks into their ultimate woo woo. <laughs> Engage the woo woo within you. <laughs> and that woo woo will serve you well. Very good. Because after a little while, the yes and no anomaly gets solved that you have a non physical, ever present health and condition that's available to you. Okay? You, most people have a mailman. Most people have a mailbox. But if you don't go get the mail out of the box, what good does it do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, you own the mail route, you have an address. You give out the address, people send you stuff. But if you don't open the mailbox, finally they'll take it back to the post office and store it for you. So you, if you don't activate the rest of the process of your spirituality, of your woo-woo, then it won't do you any good. You'll be wooless. <laughs> For the individual gifts, the spiritual gifts, and the activating them, here's how you do it. 
you you focus only on what is the path the path to your joy. Mm-hmm. Now, specifically within within and without the gift, start giving your undivided attention to the inside part of you, the hunches. Hmm, I think I want to take a walk. Hmm, I think I want to go buy a lottery ticket. Okay, and wrap you will not allow yourself to usurp the rules, your rules and regulations. Right, so maybe that's the question I have. How would you recommend to Anna or any of us how to adapt new rules without getting in a knot about it? Well, okay, don't make it be that I'm less than if I don't win the mega million, bigger bucks, running bucks, whatever, hundred trillion dollar lottery composition. There's nothing wrong with that, but if that's too big a step for you, if you don't feel worthy to receive that type of abundance in your experience, then you don't worry, you won't. Go soft. Enjoy a cup of coffee. Enjoy a cup of tea. Appreciate a glass of water. Appreciate somebody that actually gives the time of day to ask you how you're feeling today and really cares what your answer is. All right. We are out of time.